we have 10 part B. Now 10 part B, we again have a sector of a circle. Okay, oops, we have a sector of a circle. And you can see that in the sector of this circle, the angle we've been given is x, and the radius is r. And they told us the perimeter of this sector. Now the perimeter of the sector is made up of the curved arc, which I call L, so the length of the arc going from there all the way around. That's the length of the arc. Okay. Um, now a lot of people will be get confused. They think that is the perimeter. But that's not the perimeter. And I'll just make a little illustration. That's the length of the arc. It's not a very good one, but that's just an arc. Now, you can think of the perimeter of a shape as the length of the outline. A shape which has a perimeter is normally it's going to be enclosed, closed, it's not open. Now this is open. For you to find the perimeter of the shape, you have to make sure that it's closed. So you've got to also take into account the length of the two lines, not just the arc, but the two lines here, which are both the radius. You can think of it as if those are not there and you've got sheep in this, in this pen. This is a pen, there's some sheep in here. Okay, if you don't have if any part of it is open, what's going to happen? The sheep are going to escape. Okay, so it has to be closed. It has to be closed for it to be the perimeter. So don't forget that there's not only the length of the R, there's also the two straight lines, which are the two radius. So you've got here the length of the R, which are called L, plus two times R, which is two times the radius. Okay, so they told us that the perimeter of the sector is 2R plus 7 pi R over 10. So the perimeter, which we know is the length of the arc, the length of the arc is given by the angle. Now the length of the arc, remember, is related to the circumference. So this time it's related to this time it's related to the circumference. The circumference is two pi r. So it's something to do with two pi r. Oops. Oh, again. Something to do with two pi r. But it's not all of the circumference we need. It's a fraction. What fraction is it? Same reasoning. It's the fraction that this angle makes with the whole circle. So it's x over 360 times 2 pi r, that's the length of the arc. That's the length of the arc, that's this part. We've got to also add 2 times the radius. Okay, and that gives us the perimeter of the sector, which is 2r plus 7 pi r over 10. Now, what we'll notice straight away, we want to find what x is, right? So let's get rid of this plus 2r. Now, if we, if we subtract 2r, from this side, we have to subtract it from this side, then you'll notice that these will disappear. So you're left with 2 pi rx over 360 equals 7 pi r over 10. We want to find what x is, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to multiply both sides by 360 first. Okay, what I could do actually first is I can cancel this and this 360, that gives me 180. Okay, then I can multiply both sides by 180. So I'm now, oh, that, that's two has disappeared. I've got 180 times, sorry, not 180. 180 cancels with the other 180. So I've got this 180 cancelling with this 180. So now I've got pi rx equals that 0, 10. We're going to that, so you're left with 7 times 18 pi r. 7 times 18 is going to be 70 plus 56. 70 plus 56, which is 126 pi r. Okay, so we're left, we're left now to find where x is. x is 126 pi r over pi r. Pi r cancels. And you're left with x equals 126 degrees. And there's the answer 
for part B. Okay, so the answer is 126 degrees. Let me just make sure of something, just in case. We said that, what did we say? We said that 7 times 18, 7 times 18 is 126. Yes, we are right. Okay, so x is equal to 126 degrees, and that's part B. Now I'm going to go on to part C.